Hi, it's 2016. <laughs> hey guys, and guess what? It's 2016. thought I would go ahead and wrap up my entire 2015 year into one video. Roll the film. A really cool thing about my YouTube channel was that on January 1st of last year I hit 100 subscribers. I remember that day I was like holy crap 100 people are watching me. My goal was to reach 200 by this year but I'll make it someday. Then on January 13th I turned 20. Let me tell you though, I'm turning 21 in about two weeks and I don't have anything planned. I don't go party, I don't go drink. I'm probably gonna be sitting at home watching Netflix and eating food with my family. All of a sudden in January, we had this awful, and I mean awful snowstorm. It was a lot of fun for Honey because when I would take her outside, she would like hop in the snow and she'd have to pee like on the snow. It was hilarious. At one point in this last year, my computer just completely crashed on me, making weird sounds, and I finally just had it looked at. I didn't have YouTube for a little while. It was hard, but it's all fixed. Got a one terabyte hard drive, it's all good. Then I went to something that I normally wouldn't go to, and that is Kuroshi Con, and it's an anime convention, and anime is not really my thing, but I went for my friend Rachel, because she's my best friend, and I thought I'd go with her, and I had some other friends there too, so I'm like, why not experience something different for once? Out of my comfort zone. One of the big things that happened this year was the April 9th tornado here in Rochelle, and it was on the outskirts of town, but I still consider it my town because like, that was one of our landmarks that got completely wiped out. It was a scary sight to see. Like, we went down there and saw all the wreckage. Oh, it was freaky to see. I don't like disaster areas. Oh, it's freaky. From where we live, which is quite a few miles from where the tornado was, we could see, like, the whole bowl coming up. Insane. Another really big thing that I had kind of take over my life was filming a bunch of trailers for the Project Imagination contest. I never really get to enter into like film competitions because I thought I'd never be good enough. So I was really like, why do it? But to be honest, I have to have like a project to work on to function. So I'm like, why not just do a bunch of trailers? They're all on YouTube if you want to see them. Then I finished my second year of college. Okay, here's a big one. On June 1st, right after I'm off school and everything, I get to meet Joey Graceffa. Thank you, Hannah. Thank you, Jake, because if I didn't have Hannah, I would have to stand in line by myself. And thank you, Jake, for taking us at the very last minute. Quick story. Apparently, like, that morning, my mom's like, well, you can't go. There's probably not going to be tickets, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden, it was like there were so many tickets left. So I'm like, Jake, please just take us. And then we went, and I met him, and it was so nice. It was so quick, but uh, it was nice. He was the first YouTuber I ever watched. Not many people can really say that they met the very first YouTuber they started watching. Over the summer, I actually camped quite a few times and I faced my fear every time. And my fear is water and being out in open water and I canoed at both campsites. Or kayaked. Kayaked. One was a really small lake that I could see all the edges and I could reach really easily, but the other one... Such a big lake. Like, I was terrified, but then I also had my camera with me so I was scared of dropping the camera, but... It was fun after I got over it. Okay, another big one. August 1st. A lot of firsts this time around. Hmm. August 1st, we got to go to a Five Sauce concert. Now, a week before the concert, we bought tickets. Me and Amy were not a fan at this point. So we literally went to the concert not being fans. It was such an awesome experience. Like, they made me so much more of a fan when I was there. You experience such a cool thing when you're in that environment, and they really feel like... They really make you feel like you're there and you're full-blown, like, you're in our face kind of thing. It was a really, really cool concert. Then I got my own car. That was weird because, like, the title's under my name and, like, it's so weird to have, like, your, your own car. I don't know, it was weird. But we got it from a family friend, so thank you, Debbie. 
Another event that me and my best friend Rachel got to go to was Wizard World. Such a huge freaking convention. If you ever get to go, try. It's an amazing experience and literally like we went upstairs and we're like, oh, this is it. We went downstairs, found a different way, whole new ball game downstairs. Whew. Everywhere. There were things everywhere. I couldn't even comprehend it. It was so cool. If you get a chance, go to one of those. Then I started my third year of college, which actually now I just graduated as of a few weeks ago. Then I got my very first job and since I was at the gym all the time, the person was like, um, are you wanting to like work here? And I was just like, no, I can't do a desk job. No, I can't. And then all of a sudden I'm working there. So it's very low key. It's a very good first job. I'm really happy with it. And yeah, hey, I have a job, money, woo. YouTube video money, woo. Another thing that took over my life was filming the Jet Black Heart music video. Don't get me wrong, it was an awesome experience all the days we filmed, but beforehand and afterhand were very stressful. <laughs> For those of you who keep up on my videos, you know the struggle that it has been to get that thing just up on YouTube and to stay on YouTube. I'm not going to go into detail, but it's finally up, we're moving on, and we're actually starting another one. So we're not going to say what song yet because we're in the mode of scripting right now. But I'm really excited. This time around I'm not going to get so upset about little things because whatever's going to happen is going to happen. And the last one is, is that I graduated from college with an associate's degree in art and it's a really good accomplishment but the one thing that annoys me so much, people come up to you, oh so what's next for you? Oh you're not going to college still? Hmm, that's weird. Stop judging me, us, anybody who has just got done with college. We just went through that and you're not even acknowledging it. Like, we just finished this and now you're like, why aren't you going back? Okay, congratulate us and move on. Stop questioning us, please. It's annoying. Overall, I think it's been a really good year. Like, I have a lot of, like, firsts that have happened this year, which is really cool. And, um, hopefully more to come next year. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked my 2015 wrap-up. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, find me on Instagram, and Snapchat because I'm random and don't do much stuff, to be honest. But I'll Snapchat you back. And also, if you guys ever have any questions on Twitter or whatever, literally tweet me, because I will answer anybody. Just be like, hey, I found you on YouTube. I will totally just follow you, DM you, whatever. Just ask a question, say hi, what's up, whatever. I'm pretty open to talking on Twitter. I'm on Twitter all the time. <laughs> just saying. Anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. Stop texting me. Wish me luck and stay nerdy. Oh, and I wish you luck in 2016.